Good morning, ladies. Um, I don't have a whole lot going on, but I am just leaving the dentist's office. I come to the dentist every three months for a cleaning and um, a tetracycline treatment called P3. Um, considering that I have a history of being hypertensive, um, it made me a candidate for the P3 treatment. And my dental insurance does cover it. So, I get that done every three months. Um, I didn't come here to talk about <laughs> the dentist, but um, that's where I'm coming from. I did work out this morning. I got my resistance training done. Um, what I thought was rather sweet is um, my hygienist and the ladies in the office basically were like, oh, you look like you lost a lot of weight. And I'm just like, I lost some, and I don't know that I would say a lot, but um, I guess um, you know, the scale doesn't show everything. I do feel like I feel the difference more in my clothes um, than I do see it uh, on the scale. And I don't necessarily see it in the mirror because, well, I'm looking at myself every day. And I haven't taken any, like, before shots. I have, like, some old before shots of me at um, heavier weights. But I didn't, you know, for this challenge, I didn't take any um, before shots. <sighs> because this challenge is really based on numbers, not so much um, how I look. And the numbers are not just the numbers on the scale, right? It's also my blood pressure, my glucose, really just getting all of my stats down um, in this process. So, yesterday I wasn't feeling um, so great. Um, I was actually feeling pretty good. Um, yesterday morning, you know, I did the stats and everything yesterday morning. And I was feeling good, but it just seemed like as the day went on, I just got more and more sort of like low. So I'm feeling good this morning. Um, you know, I worked out and um, you know, my glucose was good. This, well, was better this morning. I think it was like 116. Um, my blood pressure was pretty good this morning as well. Um, so, I think I'm sleeping better. I had a better night's sleep. Like, I fell asleep. It was before 10. I did wake up at 1 or 1.30 to go to the bathroom. Um, my cat jumped on me and just started kneading <laughs> my belly. And she's like 12, somewhere between 12 and 14 pounds. So, she wakes me up when she jumps on me um, like that. And because she's like right there on top of my bladder thanks to her I had to go to the bathroom so um got up went to the bathroom um came back fell right back asleep and then I didn't wake up again until about 5 30 which is um actually pretty good for a long stint um of sleep so <laughs> sorry <laughs> my phone is like doing all kinds of crazy things all right so um my ashwagandha should be coming today and I'm hoping um, that that will start to make a difference um, this morning I was feeling like I said my blood pressure was a lot better um, closer it was actually when I took it this morning it was actually sort of in normal range even after my workout because I took it again um, after my workout because I was just feeling a little um, not really dizzy, but a little sluggish, like I was feeling after I doubled um, my blood pressure meds before, and um, it's you know I think that's my body adjusting again 
to a lower blood pressure where I felt like my blood pressure might just be too low and I just think it was just low for where my body's used to. So I don't feel that sluggish feeling. Um, it's like slightly, I feel it now, I'm just so tired. Um, but when I eat something, that'll feel better. The other thing is um, I'm, I'm breaking my fast with like a few almonds in the morning because to be honest, um, when I was doing the almonds first thing in the morning, that's what was keeping my glucose down. So um, I know I've been trying to do the intermittent fasting but the fact of the matter is my glucose is more important than me doing the fasting. So, um, if I have to break my fast with a handful of almonds, then that's what I have to do. So, um, that's what I want to do for the rest of this week is, um, do the almonds in the morning. So, I'll get up, I'll hang around for a little bit, take my blood pressure, take my glucose, and then take some almonds and then work out um, and then uh, after that workout I'll uh, you know eat breakfast and all of that so that way I'm not waiting hours um, before taking my glucose because when I take it closer to when I wake up it's better it's always better and I think it will start to be under 100 if I stick with the almonds for a second that's what I need I need the almonds first thing in the morning to keep my glucose under control because what I did yesterday is I did follow my glucose all day the only thing is I crashed last night um after taking that birth control pill um I kind of fell asleep earlier than I wanted to so I didn't get to take my glucose again after eating dinner but I was basically in the 130s all day um because my meals are tightly together so I did start to come down. I had one reading before dinner. I was like 123. But there was a longer time between lunch and dinner. So, um, you know, it does come down. I just, I don't know. And I didn't get to take it the two hours after because within that two hours I was sleeping. So, but this morning I was 116. And I took the almonds on my way out before the dentist. And then I brushed, well, I, I ate the almonds and then I brushed my, then I um, worked out. Um, took a shower, brushed my teeth, and um, then came out here for the dentist. So I have not, it's 9.46, I've not eaten breakfast yet. Um, so... I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, we'll work it out. I feel like I'm just rambling. I don't know how long. It's been like five minutes. My phone is doing this thing again. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to come on and say, you know, I, I know a lot of you ladies on, on uh, Instagram were complimenting me, saying that you can see the weight loss and, um, I got more confirmation in the dentist's office by the ladies there. They were telling me that um, they could tell that I lost a lot of weight. But scale-wise, I have not lost um, really any weight. I'm actually higher than the last time they saw me. Um, but uh, I don't know. that Everybody was just saying how great I looked. But I don't know. Maybe it's the new supplements. Um, I know a lot of you ladies have complimented me on how well my skin looks, how well my hair looked, and, and how long it's gotten, and, and all of that, and I can only blame the supplements, because <laughs> I'm not doing anything special, um, other than, you know, drinking more water, and taking my supplements, um, 
exercise it more. And I, I think all of that goes into looking and feeling, you know, younger. So, I just, um, really, I just wanted to come in, check in and say I got my teeth cleaned. The next time I come back is in January. Hopefully, um, well, I'm claiming that I will be pregnant by then, so they will not be able to do um, the tetracycline and the P3 treatment. Um, but I can come in and uh, get the cleaning done uh, in January. So they're all like pulling for me. And I swear, like every time I go in there, because I'm there every three months, I'm just like, well, hopefully the next time you see me, I'll be pregnant. Hopefully the next time you see me, I'll be pregnant. And it just hasn't happened um, in all this time. But you know, all in due time. And, uh, you know, I'm working through my goals. Uh, you know, I got my backyard um, taken care of. I still got, you know, one more float to do. I'm getting the workouts in. I'm trying to stay the course um, on keto and not, like, have, like, a cheap meal because I'm home. And so there's no real uh, reason or excuse as to why I can't just stick with keto. So um, I'm trying to do that. And, um, you know, it's tough, you know, it's tough. I feel like I've been restricting myself quite a bit. Um, I've not been treating myself, but in reality, <coughs> you know, I got to get my numbers to a good place, but I don't want to stress myself out about this, um, weight loss because that doesn't help like my stress levels. So I'm really hoping, um, I know ashwagandha can take, you know, a while before it really, um, does anything for you, but I'm hoping that I can start to take it, my sleep will start to improve, and my numbers will just, um, really improve, um, and then, you know, I'll be a little bit more, uh, productive at work and not feel so behind, um, on everything, and also, also, um, I'm going to request some days off, I can't even remember, my brain is just so crazy, but I can't even remember if I mentioned this, for, um, but HR, I got an email from HR, basically trying to confirm that I have not taken any vacation days this year, yet. And I mean, it's October, and I have not taken any vacation days. I get 15 vacation days a year. I have five vacation days that floated over from last year. And I have a floating holiday. So basically, I have 21 vacation days available to me. Almost a month, three whole weeks. And I have not um, taken any vacation all year long. So, and I keep saying that I need time off, I need time off, I need time off, and I just haven't taken any. So, I'm going to work out, okay, truck, <laughs> I'm going to work out some, um, some vacation time, I'm going to put my time in, um, today, and, uh, take 15 days, because I want to float, five is the most time that I can float to next year. Um, vacation is use it or lose it. So I'm basically throwing away money if I don't take vacation. I'm not, I, I don't I don't like throwing away free money. So um, I need to figure out some vacation time between now and the end of the year. So I definitely want to take um, the last week of the year uh, off. And um, I want to take all of Thanksgiving week and I have to work out the rest of the days probably randomly. Um some random Fridays or middle of the weeks or whatever um, between uh, now and the end of the year to get my 15 days in. So, uh, my 15, that's 16, my 16 days, my 16 days in. So, I will, um, I'm going to go to Walmart because I need to grocery shop a little bit um, I have vegetable but I like to have like spinach for my shakes I really want to shake this morning
and I haven't had a shake in a very long time because I haven't had any vegetable. So, um, I'm going to go to Walmart real quick. It's about 10 minutes to 10. Um, I don't think I have a meeting at 10 o'clock, so I think I have a little bit of time before I'm doing a really dangerous thing. Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> don't do this at home. Uh, so I think I have some time. Yep, I do have some time before my first meeting of the day. So I'm going to do this grocery shopping um, here at the Walmart. And uh, see what I can get here. But, um, yes, 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 yes. I'm really excited about the ashwagandha. I think it will do me a world of good. And then I'm going to turn on some healing tones when I get back. And I'm going to play them all day because I think that did me a world of good uh, yesterday morning. So I need to get back to my stress relief healing tones and stuff. Um, which I should have played when I started to feel down yesterday. But anyway, I'm rambling here. Um, just filling up time driving <laughs> but I feel good um, so far hopefully I can keep this up the rest of the day um, I'm gonna take my first dose of ashwagandha tonight and hopefully I will sleep better and wake up even more refreshed tomorrow and um, yeah. so yeah <laughs> that's that I will catch you ladies later. I just rambled for like almost 20 minutes over nothing. Anyway. <laughs> Sticky baby, that's all those TTC.